I'm Anna Cates. I'm an Extension Professor in Soil Health out of St. Paul. Well, I work for the Minnesota Office for Soil Health and I talk about soil health. So I'll talk about the principles of keeping the ground covered, minimizing disturbance, and keeping that living root in the ground. Then we also have some neat data from a soil health study we've been doing statewide, including four sites in Stearns County. So I'll present the Stearns County data here. So sometimes we think about soil assessments in terms of biological, physical, and chemical properties being three distinct kind of ways of assessing the soil. And it's true that the, those pools are responding differently in this case. So the biological pools are responding a little bit less, whereas the physical pools are responding more. So we're seeing when people are doing that reduced tillage and cover crops, they are seeing some differences in the physical uh, capacity of their soil, especially as it uh, uh, affects water behavior. So we're seeing better infiltration, less runoff. And I think in a year like this, we're not running moisture sensors year round, but that's gonna to translate to increased water storage. So it should help you both in a wet year with that faster infiltration and in a dry year with that increased water storage. I think I see more and more people dabbling, and then from dabbling, it's kind of another step to transition a whole operation. So farmers are curious, right? They know that they can try something new every year on a little bit of the farm. And that's important, you know, for people to keep trying new things on a little bit of the farm. I wouldn't recommend anybody go all in on any new practice in one year. You might have a year like this where it's really dry and things are really hard. You might have a year where it's really wet and things are really hard. So it's always good to dabble and dabble as we can on different soil types and landscape positions. Maybe you find some studies have found that soil health is really important on those sloping landscapes where we're going to lose soil if we're not really careful. Yeah, there's some extension agents around the state who specialize in soil health and expertise in cover crops and soil properties. Um, Another really great resource are the soil and water conservation districts. They tend to have more boots on the ground, more personnel. You know, Stearns County is hosting this one, but there's good districts all over the state and good NRCS personnel too. Those are the people who can help you, especially with cost share, because it can be expensive to try something new. And there's a reason we offer cost share for it, because it's important to taxpayers to see water quality benefits from changing farming practices.